Hang on to that for two seconds, will you? Don't, no, just up there. Don't squish the bird. Okay, now. First thing we have to do, so we've caught a bird. Okay. We know what kind of bird it is. So I don't have to do a lot of looking at it, measuring it, and trying to determine what species it is, because we know what species it is. Although I do have to be a little careful just to make sure we don't get one of those rarities. Mm -hmm. But it's highly unlikely. So, first thing I do is I get the band. Each band has a unique number. Um, so essentially what we're trying to do here is, by giving it, putting a band on the bird, we're trying to give it an identity. And then what we're hoping will happen is that this bird will go fly away after we release it and someone else will catch it, or it'll come back here next year and while we're, we're banding, we'll suddenly find there's a bird with a band on it, we can look it up and see if it was one of ours. And we've learned something it? about the yeah. bird. <laughs> so, first thing I gotta do is get a light, very light oh, grip on him. <laughs> and sometimes we get lucky and they hang on to the bag, and I can get a band on before we even get him out of the bag. Oh, here we go. First one today that's been that easy. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to process it in this. And the reason we pop it into this is one, to keep it calm, keep it from flipping around and expending energy. And this way we can only expose the part of the bird that we want to, to work on. So the first thing we want to know is, for this bird, is it male or female? Well, luckily this one is giving us a clue. And if you look at the throat, you'll see that there's one, actually there's two feathers here. One's just slightly pink, the other one's reflecting red. So that tells me that this is a hat shear, in other words, born this year, male bird. It's a boy. So it's a boy. It's a boy. <laughs> it's a boy. No problem. When you see these birds, you'll see it's got a lot of five o'clock shadow, but that is not necessarily an indication of a male or a female. Um, the colored feathers are in this species. Now, if we didn't have those, the other things that we do anyway, but we would have to do, first of all, to age it, we have to look at the bill. And we use a 20 power jeweler's loop to look at the bill, because it's the only way we can see whether it's wrinkled or not. If it's wrinkled, Unlike in people, where you get older, you it's get wrinkled. It's a wrinkles. male? <laughs> in the case of these, if it's wrinkly, it's a young oh. bird. Oh. So, that's what I'm looking for. <laughs> and it's not easy to see, even with this sometimes. But yes, he's wrinkled. About 90%. He's young. So he's a young bird. The other thing we know in hummingbirds is that the males are smaller than the females. So by measuring the bill and the wing, we can determine the sex of the bird. So in this case, 15.53 millimeters. 15, 16, it's probably going to be a male, 17 and up, female. Because they're bigger. Okay. <laughs> Why? It just happens to be. It's a girl thing. It's a girl thing. It's a girl thing. Interesting enough, in most birds, the males are bigger, except in raptors. So eagles, hawks, the females are bigger because they have to defend the nest. Don't lift him up. Um, in the in this case, the last thing he wants to do is anything to do with the nest. Once he's gotten her pregnant. He, he's gone. He's gone. Typical man. <laughs> <laughs> they, they don't mate for life then? They do not mate for life. Okay. They mate for a few moments. 
Okay. All right. Got it. And then that's it. That's his role in life. Make it make it happen, then go away. Um, Forty point three, which is a four point nine three, I should say, which is really quite small. Whoa, oh, look at him. Yeah. So again, we got to try and keep him comfortable. Measure the tail. I want to check and see just if he has any molt. Molt is where the feathers are either coming in or dropping out, either or. And I do that by looking at his head and his throat. At the same time, I'm going to look at his fat. Okay, zero, zero, zero. So no molt. We had two gorget feathers. He had a fat of two. And then the last thing we're going to do is weigh him. So we're going to weigh the Osaki first. Because if I try to put him on this scale, he's just going to fly away. You know, so, you know. So we wrap him up. Where'd he go, Abe? Oops. Oops. There he is. 2.7 grams. What are you? Did you see him moving? And this young lady is going to release him. So there we go. Ruby throated hummingbird. Young male. So, hold your hand out. I'm just going to stick him on there. And if we're lucky, he will sit there for a second or two. So people can get pictures. I wonder if I can. He will, don't worry. <laughs> we'll take you all by surprise. Yeah. Uh, See how little he is, Ash? This one is being very cooperative. 